Hello everybody and welcome to Isekai Quartet Season 2 Anime Review. Bloody hell, it's good to be back, isn't it? It's just, I hope we get to the point where they just put every Isekai series in here. All the good ones, all the bad ones, all the mediocre ones, all the ones that haven't been made yet. Just throw them all in, just because it'd be ridiculous and it would be great. It'd be great in a ridiculous way and I, I want that. But anyway, now, it, it, I, I, liked, I liked this episode. The... Um, didn't see Naofumi going to the... Spoiler, if you've not seen the episode yet. Didn't see Naofumi going to class one. Didn't see that coming. Uh, I, I guess you could call it a plot twist. Can you call it a plot twist? Or a mis misdirection? We'll call it a plot twist. It was... I don't know why they did it. Maybe just because... Just to get um, Naofumi in class one. So you've got like a main character in there. So we'll see some of their shenanigans as well. Uh, Union still on her own in class three. So let's moment. Of, I hope that at the end of this season, Union just busts in. It's class one versus class two. Union busts in with she's got now got a whole army in class three with a bunch of other series. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that'd be really cool. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling. Let's get into the episode. See what happened. No idea how long this review is going to be because obviously it's it's a short. But anyway, let's do this thing. So we open up with Naofumi opening the door as the transfer student, looking around the room, looking really, really annoyed. Like, look at his face before he slams the door. He looks very annoyed. And then just, he nopes out of there. He's like, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. And all the others are like, you know what, that makes sense. Turns out, uh, first of all, they bully Subaru a bit because of how he, when he came in, his introduction, poor Subaru. Uh, also, as I said, now Fumi is actually in class one. So who's the class two transfer student? Also, they call now Fumi Shield, like as if that's just his name. It's just Shield, which Roswell. Like, do you not have a class roster? I guess it's not your class. Never mind. Uh, but yeah, then their transfer student. Who's it gonna be? Is this a is this a, a twist? Is there a sixth series in this whole time? All right, actually, we'll pause briefly. Why is it not called Isekai Quintet? Like, it's there's five series now. It should be it should be quintet. There's more than a, I guess because they're only still in one class. That makes them a quartet. Maybe that's all I can think of is because their thing is the one class. Maybe I have no idea. But they even let Naofumi sing. He's not even in the opening. Poor poor Naofumi. Uh, no, their their transfer student is Chomusuke or Chomsuke. I forgot how you pronounce it. Mega means cat basically. And Subaru right, rightfully points out there is a problem with this, you know. There's a problem because it's a cat, obviously. Puck should obviously be allowed to be a student as well. And, I'm, and everyone's like, that's, that's not the problem here, Subaru. And it, it, it's pretty funny. You know, it's nice to be back. It is kind of bizarre having this Subaru on Tuesdays. And then on Wednesdays, it's the director's cut of ReZero, where we're back to regular old suffering. Suffaru. Suffaru. Suff, Suffaru works. We'll go with that. That wasn't that clever. Uh, also then they all start doubting, doubting. They don't believe that Aqua's a goddess, except Ainz. Ainz is like, I, I know who she is. And like eventually they're gonna have like a bonding thing. It's because she's gonna be like, I believe you, it's okay. And she's gonna be like, I don't know how I feel about that because you are an undead and I am, I am Aqua, goddess of water and party tricks. Uh, then I guess plot twist, plot twist, we'll call it that. The seats are getting changed, which is, crazy. Ram has a good line here. She's like, no matter where I slack off, I, f I will slack off, even if Kokaitis isn't in front of me blocking, which is like, good point. There's a seating change. The Overlord cast all like staring at Ainz from different directions, so there's that. Uh, I haven't written down who's sitting next to who in the seats, I assume. That will lead to various other shenanigans later on. Uh, you can freeze frame this, the video when, when it's on. The, not my video, the, the actual episode to see where everyone's sat. You can make a seating chart yourself because that that would be fun. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, the seats have changed. Uh, all I remember is Albedo is like lamenting the fact that she's not next to Ainz. So poor, poor Albedo. I hope we get some weird and wonderful combinations, which, you know, to be fair, this show almost guaranteed that. Back to now Fumi now, the shield boy. He has basically absolutely no idea what's going on. He's like, what is happening here? He runs into Wilhelm, who I originally thought was Sebus because they're just old men. Uh, no, runs into Wilhelm, 
who I guess is the janitor, which is fair enough, and he basically tells him his story. He's like, yeah, we were fighting a monster, and then my shield turned into the button, and the button got pressed, and now here we are. And it's like, that that's pretty funny. When he said my shield changed, I was like, it's going to be the button, isn't it? And it was the button. It was cool. It was funny. I liked it. Uh, Wilhelm basically says, well, you're here anyway. You might as well, you know, see what happens. Keep it, keep as it goes. And he's like, you know what? Fair enough. And then Sebus comes in, who I, I don't know what his job is. Is he like the other janitor? Uh, and now Fumi leaves, they do the Spider-Man meme where they point at each other because they're both old men. Uh, and then the others, we go to now, done with now Fumi for the while. They're playing baseball at lunch, Darkness can't hit the ball. I love the callbacks to the to regular series where like, yeah, she can't hit the ball because she can't hit anything. And then of course she takes the ball to the stomach because pain, uh, good old, good old Darkness. Uh, then to the, the pet squad, they got a third pet and they're like, there should only be two, right? And Aqua... Immediately, it's like, yeah, you're right, kills the Death Knight. And it's like, oof, Aqua, why? He comes back later, though. Philo's there. Philo is there, too. It's like, hello, I am Philo. It is... It feels kind of weird, but this first episode, it felt weird seeing the S.H.I.E.L.D. people. And I say that despite the fact the other four should feel more weird around each other, too. But they all sort of, I guess, because they are... They've had a season to develop a bond. What the hell am I saying? S.H.I.E.L.D. crew will join in the fun, too. It'll be, it's it's going to be so weird, but in the best possible way. We got to check in with the third member of the S.H.I.E.L.D. crew, that being Raftalia. She runs into Kazuma and Ainz and threatens them with a sword, and they both talk her down, and there is something ever so amusing about both Ainz and Kazuma with their hands up. Because you put them next to each other and you read their stats and everything, it's like, why have they got the same reaction? You know, that's 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 the thing. Uh, they basically explain to her what's going on, like, yeah, you got sucked to this world too? Yeah, same. Uh, she tells them about Naofumi and everything, and all that, and while he, while she's doing that, he is on the roof, he's just exploring, he's ditching class, I guess it's lunchtime, so it's fine. Uh, and then they, uh, Kazuma and Ayn say, like, you know, he's basically a sundere, and it's like, weird, but yeah, I guess so. Uh, and then they agree to help her search, they go outside to find the pet squad being Subaru and Aqua. Aqua's not riding her, but she's just outside, like, looking sad. Subaru and the other one, Aura, Aura, whatever her name is. Uh, they're riding Philo, and then she sees Raftalia, and they have a hug after she turns back to normal. And Aura's like, I want one! And Subaru's just kind of knocked out at this point, so... Good job, Subaru. You know? Uh, while that's going on, Mare hits a home run. Back with a baseball game, it's important. Hits a home run very with, a, with the magic wand, I'm assuming, which powered up the the ball, because otherwise, bloody hell, what a hit. Uh, this ball's going towards Raftalia and Philo. They're like, no, watch out. Boom, airstrike shield. Double shield. What was it called? It's not called double shield. Second shield is what it's called. Now Fumi blocks them with his shield. He's all, he protects his friends. Strongest ball in the world, but he reflects it because he's the flipping shield hero, don't you know? Uh, and then he, he basically says, there's no heroes here. Let's just see what happens. And then, you know, I've got a feeling that some of the others are going to take exception to that. They're like, I'll have you know. Chasm is going to be like, I'll have you know, I'm a legendary hero. I've defeated so many of the Devil King's generals. Uh, while this has happened, all the others are like looking at him all stunned. Like, that guy's cool because Nalfumi made one hell of an entrance, that's fair to say. Uh, yeah, so they're going to all be like, Nalfumi's going to be like the popular kid that doesn't want anyone to talk to him. Not like... You know, but he's the transfer student, and he? he's going to be like mysterious transfer. Everyone's going to flock to him, and he's now Fumi, so he's going to be like, "Leave me alone! I just want to eat my rice. Like, pl please leave me alone." And Kazuma's is going to be like, "I challenge you to a duel. I have no idea. It's weird. They've added three characters, and I've got so many ideas for what they could do. Like, they could do so much, and I hope they do at least some of them. Um, I'm curious to see." What that was the end of the episode roughly basically just the introduction of the shield squad basically I do wonder if that means we're gonna get more in class one now like now Fumi become the Represent or like I'd also like to like a part of me kind of wants them to just not show up again like that That's it. That's their one episode. They wouldn't do that, but it would be funny uh, I think it, he's gonna lead class one in, in a way like we have the sports festival, it was 1v2, something similar to that, maybe a school, not a, not a sports festival, just like a regular school festival. They'll see who can make the most things, although there's no other inhabitants in this world, so I don't know who'd be the judging. 
but they do it somehow. Uh, yeah, I think I I hope I know it's only been one episode. I hope they they make more after this as well. They make a third season. I'd be da super down for that. But uh, anyway, I've run out of things to talk about, so I guess I'll end the video here. Thank you, everybody, for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing, liking, and commenting for more reviews. Check out the main channel as well. There's content on there as well. I'll see you next week for another episode of Isekai Quartet 2. Quartoot. Clever. Uh, and bye, guys.